everyone must have experienced some art on their coffee which brings a smile on our face which is known as latte art and today we are fortunate enough to have barista anish on our show who is going to perform latte art while making our favorite joker here we go uh, so now i'm going to make uh, a really cool latte art i at least call it cool <laughs> so uh, i'm just going to make it on milk because i don't like to waste milk so if i like use coffee or hot chocolate i can't reuse that milk and i don't really like uh, drinking um, coffee with a lot of milk so so i this is what i generally do i make some art i remove that art and then reuse that milk for something else like a milk shake or something <laughs> so um, so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to take plain milk but of course i can't uh, draw directly on milk so before that i have to do a step which is called foaming so i will create milk foam i will pour it in the cup and then i will draw it draw um, on the milk foam so for drawing uh, what i'm going to use is these food colors and so these are the uh, food colors like these are called gel food colors usually used in baking okay so these don't have an expiry date so i can literally store them like paints <laughs> and um, as i uh, spoke about paints uh, this is very similar to painting but exactly the opposite so uh, while painting our brush is moving and the canvas is still so here this is my brush uh it's a wooden skewer so this is stiff and my canvas is actually moving which is the milk foam so that's how i relate it with painting so let's get into action i'm uh, as i said i'm going to uh, foam some milk so this is called a french press this is actually a coffee brewing method but i use it to froth the milk so why i use this instead of uh, any other milk fo- uh, milk frother is because i have worked in a cafe on a machine which is worth uh, 8 to 9 lakhs and the foam that i create with this is what i compare with that machine so it's that good quality of foam so that's why i always use a french press to get the best foam for my coffee <laughs> so if we don't have a french uh, this equipment which i am actually using so what mm-hmm. else can we actually do to make foam yes yes yeah so uh you can use a regular tupperware bottle or a glass bottle or a steel bottle basically which does not deform due to heat but at the same time has a tight lid so you can uh, pour your hot milk inside this and shake it vigorously so that will also give you really good foam so that's the hot milk so uh, here i have taken the hot milk and i'm just going to froth it in the french press so the milk is frothed 
going to transfer it again in my milk pitcher. You'll see this uh, milk froth froth a bit. Yep. So it has to be like for for the best uh, latte art. Even if uh, you're pouring it uh, straight into the coffee or doing a, a painting like this, your milk has to be uh, like it's called micro foam. It has to be like velvet. So as an architecture student, <laughs> I've got this habit of doing a light draft before I draw anything. So like something that I'm going to do, which actually you won't be able to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, this helps a lot. It's like, uh, can be said as a pencil work before actually uh, take your uh, paintbrush in your Fair hand. Right. Correct, correct. So, uh, so as I mentioned earlier, like uh, I'm an architecture dropout. So I've done two years of architecture, and in that I have learned this that like what is a light draft. So you you said the pencil work, but that's like a very very faint pencil work. So most of my professors used to say that uh, it, it's okay if anybody else doesn't understand your pencil work, you should understand it. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing. So we are doing a joker today. Yes. So which all colors are you going to use? So I assume it's... So I'm going to use all the primary colors like red, yellow, blue, and uh, green. Okay. So that's the, those are the gel colors. I'm just taking it like a little bit of it on the tip and start drawing. If you compare this to a normal uh, work on in paper, how hard is it uh, to do on a unsteady canvas? Uh, uh, on a moving canvas, you mean? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I would say it's uh, if you are used to painting, it's uh, pretty similar. Just the thing is you have to get the uh, foam well. If you don't do that, uh, it's not going to look good and you're also not going to enjoy. So just imagine like this has a lot of huge bubbles. Every time I put my pointed tip over there, the, I am going to uh, break more bubbles instead of <laughs> painting. So of course that is uh, like going to spoil my experience. So yeah, like it's actually very easy if you use the uh, correct method and correct tools. All you need is a um, skewer like this or a toothpick or I even you could actually start with just the back end of the spoon. I started with that only. I used to do like uh, 
larger designs at first then i uh, got to know about these keywords then i got into like <laughs> making minute details and different types of designs So how was your parents reaction when you told them that yeah i'm going to drop out from architecture and i'm going to pursue what i actually like <laughs> everyone asks the same question <laughs> so actually uh, like you know what uh, why everyone asks this is because they just know, know that i have dropped out and like not the the whole story right so uh, when you say that ah, i dropped out of college and started following my passion for coffee everyone reacts the same but actually i did it in like parts <laughs> i did just go home and say that i want to drop out i uh, i said that uh, i want to take a gap year so i convinced them for a gap year first which i actually wanted to do like take a gap year uh take a experience uh, as a barista and uh, then see what i'm liking like coffee or architecture but the initial plan was to get back to architecture after one year and um, like that was the convincing point actually <laughs> but um, but as uh, days passed like i i took the gap and started working in a cafe right right, uh, right away and uh, so my parents were seeing what i am doing right so wh whenever like we say something that uh, like i want to do this or that the the first thing that the parents consider is like is my child going to uh, you know make a living out of it so probably they saw that i yeah i can make a living out of coffee that's great <laughs>
yeah it's like it's like art first and then coffee but now it's somehow like coffee first <laughs> because now it's a profession <laughs> so yeah it's actually been with you from childhood just you discovered it right now it was somewhere with you it was going yeah, on yeah, the yeah, journey yeah. with you just you you came across it uh, as in profession you want to pursue right now so this this are you actually Correct. making it in sharp edges right sorry so here you are making sharp edges yeah i'm just making an outline so that it looks neat so of course like uh, getting these sharp uh, lines took a lot of practice it doesn't just come like that it been what like more than 4 years i am doing latte art <laughs> so if i if i am doing this latte art and i mess up something like mera uh, aag galat ho gaya so what what can i do yeah so you could just uh, pick the foam <laughs> and start drawing again so now you ask that question late though <laughs> because now it is complete you can see my joker is ready that's so beautiful yeah thanks man <laughs> so yeah like that's one of my favorite designs i've uh, done this on a on a live stream with uh, another barista friend of mine uh, from argentina so we had done like i had done joker and he did batman and we showed it together uh, to the audience and that was like pretty cool <laughs> so um, yeah it's one of my favorite designs and uh, now i'm going to show you one more design which is like you see in cafes generally so i'll just erase this design and get back into action yeah who yeah so yeah like uh, one thing about this type of art is that i can uh, instead of erasing the paint i can actually erase the whole canvas <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah here we go like here's the joker <laughs> thing <laughs> so for your first art what you actually made for your first latte art Mm -hmm. uh the first one that i did yeah oh okay i have to see go collect. to my insta feed yeah, i was i was actually trying to do uh, the poured latte art so the pouring technique uh, is is the one where you uh, make art while pouring the milk into the coffee so i was trying that and i failed miserably multiple times to realize that i could do this also <laughs> so that's when like i started exploring in this type of uh, art so my first ones were like making like uh, make the coffee make a dot on the coffee and then just do one tweak like that to make heart <laughs> yeah so that was my first so here's something that um 
you would see in uh, cafes like for example cafe mocha which is like coffee plus milk plus chocolate So just the thing is that the foam got thinner as I <laughs> as I'm directly drawing on top of it after removing the first foam. So so the chocolate sauce sinked, but this is how it looks like with thick chocolate sauce and they serve you a cafe mocha. But you can do this at home with just frothing your milk, putting some chocolate sauce and even with a back end of a spoon, you can do the thing that I did. So yeah, once I got to know that I can just tweak in the foam and do something, that's when I started exploring with chocolate sauce and instant coffee drawn on top of milk. Yeah. That's great. So the, uh, I would say the, the most uh, amount you might have required to actually master the art of being steady while doing that. Because when you were doing that, I was just I was just getting panicking that okay, you might uh, go slightly here or there, and the design may may just uh, get uh, deformed. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you have actually mastered that skill. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks. But I would still say I've I've just started. If you see other people like around the world where there is a culture of serving latte art uh, to the customer. People are doing like really, really crazy stuff. They they draw the faces of their customers and serve it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that that may be <laughs> very hard actually. Like when when actually draw a sketch uh, for for a portrait, it takes one hour, and then for doing <laughs> doing it on a uh, full, it, it has to be done under uh, five minutes at least, or or it will just yeah be yeah yeah yeah. Away. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this can actually increase the price definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Special service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And so, do you have any future plans? So, after the, uh, what are the future plans with Total Coffee and and in mm -hmm. your life in general? Oh my. So that's a very long term future plan, but the very, very short term future plan within minutes is that I'm going to have some hot chocolate first. <laughs> so like this is just the reverse method. I'm putting milk first and hot chocolate later, chocolate powder later. And I'm just going to mix it and having have it while uh, having a conversation with you. I, I really wish if we could just uh, do this face to face, I would have just made two cups. <laughs> I would have loved to have one with you. <laughs> so yeah, like um, I plan to work on Total Coffee uh, for about like um, one or two years more, uh, like working deep into the industry and getting those connections, which might help me later. And um, of course, setting up a whole company is a different kind of a feeling. So yeah, 
So I'm going to work for a couple of years and then later on, I'm again going to work on my personal brand, which is going to be a service which is related to coffee. So I can't really just uh, spoil the idea, but you would get to see that in a couple of years for sure. So are you planning it virtually like virtual service or you're planning to have in shop? physical address uh, to what you're No, no. Uh, so it's, it's basically a coffee experience service. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so I do a lot of brewing sessions with people and that is what I'm going to, um, do as a proper, like full-time thing. That's yeah. great. And all the best for that. So yeah. thank you. Thank you. So like personalized uh, brewing sessions as well as workshops. And maybe let's see if I become a really good barista, I might just give trainings also. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on our show. It was lovely having you here. Uh, the boat of the art actually performed were really beautiful and I loved watching it. Thank you, man. Thank you. And it's my pleasure to be on your platform. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Okay.